What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Beauty with Ty. So, today's video, I will be showing you guys how I pluck this frontal to look this good. Look at that. Ooh, I'm getting better and better, y'all. So, yeah, I'll be letting you know how I plucked it as well as how I glued this wig and made it in 2.5 seconds. So, let's get right into it. This hair is by Miss Hair Hair, and I believe it's Brazilian straight. And they also sent some lashes to go with it. A frontal, which was pre-plucked, like... For the gods, I love this frontal. The bundles look nice. I love the packaging and how they labeled their hair, showing that they really took their time. It was really soft. Like, it felt like it was um a different, you know, a different type besides Brazilian. So, that's why I didn't put Brazilian. I don't know what it is, but it felt so soft. I don't know what it was. So, here's the frontal. It looks really good. As you can see, it has been pre-plucked. This is what you consider pre-plucked. You see how it goes from light to dark. But we do want to pluck behind the area where it gets dark because it's not like a gradient effect. We want to make it more of like a gradient effect. So, that's why I go in and pluck that part. As well as you want to pluck more so the hairline, but not too much. You just want to kind of get it from being so round and structured the way it is so I just pluck that just a little bit going back and forth so that it's not so round around the edges and then I'll just take my tweezers part the hair and then pluck behind the hairline so here I'm just like plucking that area and then I pluck a little bit behind it part it again pluck some more and that's how I keep doing the frontal all around the front and as you can see I moved on to another area and I'm just plucking that area I pluck behind it I pluck where the part is at and just try not to stay in one spot for too long and this is how much hair I got from one side so you are going to pluck you know a lot of hair and this frontal has been pre-plucked so imagine if it wasn't when it's not pre-plugged, I'll just be upset and I just don't even want to fool with it. it just be too much, too much work because my hands was hurt and my fingers was cramping up just from plucking this little bit. But I didn't have nearly as much work as I do with other frontals. So I'm just doing the same thing, plucking behind the hairline just so we can get that more gradient effect and... This day, I was looking like a bomb. I was working out. I was doing videos. I done like five videos. I don't know. I done so many. But as you can see here, you have more of like a gradient effect and it's not so plucked and then not plucked. You kind of see where it's like going back smoothly. And this is the wig cap I used. This is the only wig cap I used, the only one I like. And it's Japanese inspired and it's $3 at the hair store. And it comes with a part that's close in the front and then sprayed out. You want to make sure you put the close part in the front, in the front, if that makes sense. I don't know. But yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and put my frontal on and sew that bad boy down so I can go ahead and just glue the back. I don't sew any more of my wigs. I just glue them all because it's just better that way. They last. I don't have to worry about any ends or anything like that pulling up. And I don't put a plastic bag underneath anything like that because I use that canvas head that I already wrapped up and prepped for color and glue and all that stuff so I won't have a nasty looking canvas head. And I'll leave that link down below for you guys. And then that way you don't have to use a shower cap or a bag. And then when you're done, take it off and you have all these pieces left on your wig. So I'm just gluing the sections and... The back pieces, I like to go straight across to meet the frontal, and then I start to curve it. So, since you are gluing it, the glue doesn't adhere right away. And see, this is what I was saying, right to the frontal. That's how I like, like the first two, three pieces, and then I start to curve it. So, since the glue doesn't adhere right away, you do want to kind of hold it and then blow dry it, because it will like kind of just slide right off. So, here I just do a small little section first. So that the next piece, I can kind of curve it to start my curving tracks. And this way, it lays flat on my head and just fits better and everything works out. So as you see, I'm getting closer to this top and more so the tracks are just getting more aligned with the frontal. So that, that last frontal, like right here, this is what you want it to look like. That last frontal will just lay flush to... The last bundle 
the last track, Lord. The last track will lay flat to the frontal. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> and then I blow dry it into place. And then I let it sit for about 30 minutes and then I take it off. Because if I take it right off, I have glue everywhere. And just don't be acting right. Not everywhere, but yeah. So see here, I used some concealer. And you can see the section that I put concealer in and the section that I didn't. And that's what I'm trying to show you guys. You see how light the lace is right here on the hairline? That's the part I'm going to fix. But I figured out a figure, uh, faster way. I'm not sure if someone else already done. I'm pretty sure they have. I don't know. I don't care. But right now, this is what I was doing because I didn't want to put my hair and no tea because the tea's been making like my actual hair on the wigs feel funny and gritty I don't care how many times I wash it so I just took that concealer and I was putting that on my edges and that color is in beautiful bronze yeah beautiful bronze and it just made it look so much better and cut the time in half times 10 so now you can actually see the difference where I have put the concealer you don't have to go all the way down on the lace I was just went, went all the way down so I can show you guys and then I take a washcloth and put some water on it and take the rest of the makeup away and as you can see here it's a complete difference the lace is actually darker like I actually tinted so here I'm just taking this um, lip pencil and lining my hairline I've done this before but last time I used a pink liner like someone was crazy so this time I actually used the brown one and it worked out 10 times better and you can see that I am like actually in front of my hairline probably a bit too much but it worked out so <laughs> whatever and as you can see it looks good and here go another trick when I try to swoop behind my ear I seen um somebody do this a youtuber maybe Malibu I don't know but he kind of cut the hair behind his ears so that it can lay flatter. And that was the smartest idea. Oh my God. So as you can see, it swoops behind your ear better. So when I wear my side parts, this is how I'll do. Just cut it behind my ear so that it can stay swooped behind my ear and not bunch up and come from behind my ear. It'll stay that way. So as you can see here, I'm just using my hot comb, getting it right. I cannot do a wig without it. You guys know that. And, you know, look at my wigs. They're getting so much better. Like, it all depends on the frontal and how the baby hair is. And I'm not really doing the stocking cap method anymore because it just takes too long. And then the stocking cap kind of comes back and then the wig starts to slide back. It was just doing too much. And I don't feel like fumbling with it. So I just be putting it right on my hairline and it looks so good. Like, look at that. It looks good. But yeah, I've worked with this company before and their hair was good the first time. But this time it's like even better and they done even more with their packaging. So I really like that and their custom service and even when uh, everything was great with this company. So yeah, go check them out and leave me comments down below. I love you. See you next time.